Welcome, welcome, welcome guys to exploring Temecula. Uh, we are going to talk about the pros and cons of living in Temecula today. Uh, I might be a little biased, I love the city. Uh, if you have any interest whatsoever about Temecula or the surrounding area, we have a link in the description to directly to our website. It's called Exploring Temecula. We try and do three to four videos a week. Uh, also subscribe down below. So here we go. Pros and cons of living in Temecula. <music> course I'm going to start with the wineries even if you don't drink uh, the wineries on a Saturday Sunday take a drive we've got four we have 40 wineries around it's really relaxing go visit three or four of them you know sit outside have some conversation with your friends family uh, and enjoy it one thing I love 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 about Temecula is it's safe uh, again living in all different areas of Southern California homeless is going up in almost every city uh, petty theft and petty crime obviously comes with that but in Temecula you just don't get that feeling I would have no problem with my wife and her friends walking up and down Old Town you know on a Friday night and not worry about it okay, another thing if you're into horses Temecula horse Mecca uh, I don't know too much about horses, but I do know that there's a lot of trails, um, a lot of horse property here. So, uh, yeah, this is a, a, just an amazing place if you love horses. Okay, the weather. The weather's amazing here for eight months of the year. Uh, yeah, for four months you're going to go, you know, from 95 to 110. So, that's something you've got to deal with. Uh, there's a little rain in December, but overall, for eight months of the year, you've got some amazing weather, beautiful sunny days. Uh, you know, great views, which just, you know, add to, you know, the amazingness of living in Temecula. There's also tons of churches you can join, uh, helps you get involved with the community. And to piggyback off that comment, you can go down to Pechanga, uh, you know, scratch your gambling itch. Uh, there's also lots of concerts that go on there, so it's not just a, not just a casino. There's also some restaurants and a beautiful, beautiful golf course. So, brings my, me to my next point. Uh, if you are a golfer, which I am, uh, Temecula is an amazing place for uh, you know for golfers. There's so many golf courses, not just in Temecula, but within a 20 mile within a 20 mile drive. They're all affordable for the most part. Um, you know, so yeah, it. If you're a golfer, this is one of the places you want to be. And then finally, the people. Uh, you know, we've had the opportunity to, you know, travel a lot over the last couple of years, you know, all around the world. And, um, you know, Temecula, we felt the second we moved here, everybody was really helpful, really friendly. I wake up every morning, I run or walk around a lake that I live near, and, you know, everybody's saying good morning and we, we couldn't be happier speaking in this area. Everybody seems real down to earth and it's something that, you know, is really, you know, sort of a bonus for us and that we realized when we moved here. So now the cons, there's not a whole lot to be honest. One biggest con would be traffic and the commute that a lot of people have to make if they decide to live in Temecula because they're, you know, unless you're a firefighter, teacher, you know, those type of jobs are here, but in regards to, you know, driving to work every day, uh, just you need to be aware that, you know, it's it's going to probably wear on you a little bit. And my last con of living, well, not only in Temecula, but I guess it would be anywhere in Southern California or California is, you know, taxes and gas. Yes, it is more expensive. Yes, the taxes are a bit higher, but look where we live. Um, great weather, lots to do. Um, yeah, so you got to sort of suck it up to live in a place like this. So if you like that video, we've got a lot of stuff already on the website. Uh, you know, we've done three or four wineries. Uh, check those out. Um, I'm working on doing every different community in Temecula so you can have an idea of, you know, what amenities are in that specific community, what the schools are like in that specific community. Um, and I'm just going to go over for you so you understand, you know, maybe what, where in Temecula you'd want to live. Uh, other than that, yeah, again, subscribe down below. Visit us at exploringtemecula.com. Subscribe. We'll keep you updated on everything that's going on in and around Temecula. Thank you very much. Till next time.